Well, there it is. It's sad seeing it on there, but it's for the best. It doesn't have any bids right now, but there's four people watching it, so I'm quietly optimistic that it's going to go. There's five days left. Monday, it ends next Monday. The 23rd, 23rd. That's a sign. It's a sign. 23rd. <laughs> I really do want it to go as well because then I can get the new camera and then Why Man Productions is firmly back in business. Speaking of which, I know I keep banging on about the hat, but <laughs> I made a decision with that. I'm going to wait until the camera goes, if the camera goes, so I can get the new one and I'll do that in a few others. I'm not, I'm not short of ideas, plenty of ideas, like say there's the hat, the gentleman, which I've mentioned a few times in the past, is it's ready, ready to be filmed, ready to be shot. I'm gonna do that in the summer when it's when it well, I say when it's warm, but when it's when it's warmer, let's say that. And I've got I've got plenty more ideas. I've got a little little blah, 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 little series involving the thief. I'm gonna call it Challenge Thief or something like that. Where other characters from previous films challenge the thief to <coughs> things like darts or wrestling or something like that. I want to do a, a Blues Brothers type thing called the Brothers. <laughs> There's. I want to do, try to do a Harry Potter duel kind of thing called the duel. <laughs> you know, if I could copyright the word the, I'd be a rich man. <laughs> so yeah, there's there's plenty plenty of ideas out there. So once I can't get the new camera, back in business. Be new videos all the time. Well, <laughs> you've heard me say that before. You've heard me say, oh yeah, a new new video next week. And I, yeah. <laughs> Alright, in the last video, you heard me say that I was going to get a load of CD sleeves and sort out all the DVDs I've got, put all them in sleeves, the discs, that, that is, in sleeves and uh, do something with the boxes. I have the um, CD sleeves, so that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to be doing today. <laughs> It's just, look, just, it's got to be sorted out. That's just one side of it, anyway. The other side, and this is just the same. Eh, 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 eh. It's, it's just the same. <laughs> I've got props here from, from films, police hat for gentlemen. I was going to do something with a scream mask once, but it, it sort of failed. I've got the old, eh, <laughs> police badge for the gentleman. Button, button which squeaks. Oh, it did squeak. Took it out anyway. Again, look at, look at all the stuff in here. And this one more prominent than the other one. You can see the shelf going. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's got to be sorted out. So that's what I'm going to do now. Should be fun. I might bring back some memories as well with some of the stuff that's in there I haven't seen for years. So, yeah. Should be fun. Well, the first side's clear. Weird, weird seeing that empty. I wish there was that empty all the time. <laughs> Here's the, the content. The um, me. books of the. all this crap. No. Alright, there's something. Eh. Are you scared? No. <laughs> what do you mean to that? Was its concept sound? It reminded me a lot of the the Saw films. Love the Saw films, but it it, it wasn't very good. I mean, it's a similar concept, but putting people in games. But yeah, we got it says six people wake up inside an old building, only to discover that they have been selected to participate in a reality TV game show called Are You Scared? Oh dear. It's a bit like the Saw films, but <laughs> a pretty poor, pretty poor copy. There's old games here as well. Two, three, five, two thousand and four. Oh dear me, that was a good game. My last Operation Genesis Jurassic Park. I enjoyed that. That was good. The, I mean, 
I love Zach Braff. He's hilarious. I love Scrubs. One, one of the most. That, that, that film was it, was. it was just weird, to be honest. Just, just weird. I could honestly. I'm gonna maybe do a few more from here, a few more from the other one because I, I could sit here all day and talk about DVDs, games, and and whatnot. Yeah, that, oh, another another one. The off put Harry Potter off put the blah blah blah. blah. Half what's wrong with me today? A Half Blood Prince game. That was. It was so easy. It was ridiculous. I think I finished it within two plays of it. It was terrible. Right. I say. Let's stop. Fun. Actually, no. One more. I promise. This is horrific. I don't know if you've seen it. Cottage. It's supposed to be a horror comedy. In ah. Oh. It's it's dreadful, honestly. Okay, all well, this is, is my opinion, by the way. <laughs> it's terrible. Just look, uh, the cottages that isn't just the funniest British comedy in years, but the horror event of two thousand eight. Don't we? <laughs> oh yeah, right. Oh, it's it's horrific. It's. N it's one thing I really don't like. I like, I like my horrors, I like my comedies, but I really, really don't like a combination of them both. It just, you know, it doesn't work. It really doesn't. There's the odd example, like Shaun of the Dead. Some, I, oh, that's genuinely funny, genuinely really good. But uh, the Cottage. Jennifer Ellison as well. I don't know if you've heard of her. She's oh, oh, oh. I don't like the Scar accent in the best of times. <laughs> Not just because of the Scarf accent, it's just generally, generally a pretty poor film. <laughs> Look what I found. <clears throat> My original cover I made for Chasing Time. <laughs> it's horrific. This is the first thing I ever did on um, on Photoshop. You can see how bad this is. Look at the, I, <laughs> so many jagged edges. I had no idea what I was doing on Photoshop. I'm not so bad with it now, but you can't even see that. Some <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I still I can't wait. I still can't wait to get back into making films. Chasing time. That's what started it all. The first part of it's done, and look at the difference. That's great. The amount of free space. <laughs> I knew it would make a difference, obviously, with the, the, <laughs> the tower of cases, but <laughs> unbelievable. Should have done this years ago. Years ago. Ah, uh, found this venture on VHS. VHS. Oh yes. <laughs> the legend that is, Mr. Jim Carrey. I was just attacked. <laughs> it, it, it was gonna happen eventually. <laughs> I was stacking them all up, <laughs> and they were nearly at the height of me, <laughs> and they all just fell on me. Oh, <laughs> it was going to happen eventually. I was hoping I was going to come come across a film called um, Shrooms. Don't know if you've seen it. And to this day, it's the only film I've never been able to not sit through till the end. Because even if a film isn't brilliant, isn't the best, I'll. Give it a chance until till the end. That film, <laughs> I guess it's the only one I've. I just couldn't watch it anymore. It was ridiculous. It was about people who, and they went on some sort of camping trip, and they ate some mushrooms. Hence the title, shrooms, and they just went on this bizarre trip, I suppose. And uh, that's basically the film. It's just completely bizarre. I. I couldn't tell you what happened. <laughs> Despite not sitting through it until the end, I couldn't tell you what happened. <laughs> You'd have to eat some uh, mushrooms yourself to just sit and watch it to the end. <laughs> speaking of shrew, the uh, speaking of shrooms, uh, the, this film was from the director of shrooms. Now, with my experience of said shrooms, you'd think. That would have been a bit of a warning sign. 
<laughs> not, not, not the pie red mist. Now, it's a hell of a lot better than the other film, but uh, it still wasn't very good. Now here's a decent film, decent, decent zombie film I reckon when you watch. Wreck. It's a Spanish film. You've probably heard of it. I definitely recommend it. The sequel, not so much. The sequel just got really weird. The first one just just basically bog standard zombie film. Really good. Not compared to the um, American remake, I presume American remake. Anyway. I think it was called Quarantine. It's just it's just basically a poor shot for shot remake of Freck. I didn't see the pop from it being English in English. Well, this side hasn't had much of a change simply because of the amount of videos I've got. It will be a chart. Oh well. There's some improvement, but not much. Well, it's done. It only took me about three hours, but <laughs> never mind. Oh, it was worth it though. The amount of room I've saved, especially, especially in there, definitely worth it. Problem now is though. Um, <laughs> what on earth am I going to do with all that? I don't know if I should... Oh, I can't really throw them all out. I think there's something. Must be somewhere. I've kept all them as well. All the... Packaging. That's the packaging. <laughs> be fun to look through them. Yes, to come I suppose. Let's see how high I can stack these without them falling over there. to send these off to be recycled so I think that's for the best definitely I got the picture up hooray it's only took since Christmas <laughs> put it up I like it next to that and the number the famous number <laughs> see I think I'll leave it there for today hope I haven't bought it then. <laughs> um, I haven't really done anything interesting recently to vlog about so thought this would be interesting-ish. Oh well. Next week though, we're going to the dogs, the greyhound racing for my nephew 16th, so that should be fun. I'll vlog there and see how much money I lose. <laughs> okay then, till then.